we can never get enough of integration shortcuts, can we? Before we begin, make sure to check out my playlist on integration shortcuts to see many more shortcuts on this topic. And now, let the magic begin. So now look at these questions and let me answer them in just 5 seconds. Just check it out. That's it. Look at the second one. This shall give us the answer. That's it. The third one. Well, before we continue, why not reveal the secret formula and then we do it together? So, look at the magic formulas. If you have e to the power mx into sine nx, then very simple to remember this e to the power mx is copied down as it is. Upon, it will be m square plus n square. You write m and then into sine nx, which is there in the function, minus n cos nx plus c. And moving on the right side, when I have e to the power mx into cos nx, the initial part is absolutely the same as the previous formula. Here, however, you have m into cos nx, which was my function. And instead of minus, you have plus n and the remaining sine nx plus c. So just understand when it's sine nx, that's the first term. But you have minus n, not m. It's n cos nx. And whenever you have cos nx, this thing is copied down as it is with m. And then the, and then the next one is n into sine nx plus c. Have a look and then we continue our journey with the questions. So as you can see in the first question, e to the power 3x is copied as it is upon, this is m square plus n square. So this gives me 3 square plus 2 square. That's 9 plus 4, 13 into whatever is here, 3 into the same function sine 2x. And with sign, as we discussed, there's a negative sign minus 2 cos 2x plus c. Wasn't that easy? Similarly, for the second one, you copy down e to the power minus 5x as it is upon, this is 5 square plus 7 square, that becomes 25 plus 49, that's 74. And next, we write this minus 5 into cos 7x as it is. And with the cos function, we had a plus sign. So plus, and then you copy this 7 into sine 7x plus c. It will, of course, take a little bit of practice, but you would remember the formula. And then, trust me, you would write these answers in less than 5 seconds. So moving on again, there's a sine function. First of all, without seeing all that, just write e to the power 10x upon 10 square plus 5 square. That gives me 100 plus 5, so 125 here. Now I write 10 into sine 5x. With sine, I had the negative sine and then I take this 5 into cos 5x plus c. Similarly, for the last one, the moment you see this form, just copy down e to the power 9x upon, this will be 9 square plus 2 square, so 81 plus 4, that's an 85, into, and now you write this 9 as it is, into cos 2x, and since it is a cos function, so there will be a plus sign, and we get plus, you copy this 2 as it is into sine 2x plus c. Please have a look. It's time for your favorite part. Yes, 
the do it yourself question so here is the question and i have put four confusing options so make sure to comment your answer in the section below as one two three or four and you know the top three answers always get named in my following videos so the clock is ticking i am sure you enjoyed this video if yes make sure to give it a thumbs up share it with people around you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more math videos also don't forget to check out the various playlists on my channel for many more full concept and shortcut videos the link for all the playlists are there in the description box and also on my channel directly see you with a new exciting video very soon until then bye bye